Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And again, it doesn't matter which sport you prefer to bet on. We have all the tools for you to help make you win. So if you're not already a member, please join up here, to the, and you'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section here, and you'll have all the excellent tools that you will need to make you win every single time. So we are looking at the NBA schedule for January the 25th, and we are past the halfway point of the season. We are getting close to the trade deadline and the All-Star break, so things are starting to heat up, and we have five games in store for you. So we're going to take a look at some of these games. Let's scroll down through here on the list and see what we got. First one here is the Dallas Mavericks and the Utah Jazz. The Jazz enter with the third best record in the Western Conference. The Mavericks are fifth in the conference. Dallas has a 14-5 record on the road. You notice here they are burning hot. They have won four out of their last six games. Utah has a 17-3 home record. They are also burning hot. You can see they have won five out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you see that Utah is on an upward trend after a downward trend for the last couple of days. Now they're back up to plus 23. And Dallas is right behind them at plus 21. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup so far this season, you see that they have not played yet this season. So this is their first matchup. If you take a look at the uh, over and under scenario, you see that Dallas is playing in games trending over the line. Utah is playing in games trending over the line as well. So betting the over is a wise play in this one. If you take a look at how stable the two teams are, the Team Volatility Oscillator, Utah is much more stable at plus 25 compared to Dallas at plus 8, which means that the Jazz are consistently, or more consistently, performing according to their favorite underdog status. So taking a look at this here, I think that this should be a close, really exciting game, but I would give the Jazz the edge at home to come away with the win. And that should be the featured game of, of the day, by the way, because the Jazz are third in the conference, and Dallas is fifth in the conference, so it's it's going to be a good one. Okay, so we scroll down here to the next one now. On the other side of the coin here, the Nets and the Pistons, they are not playing well. You see that the Nets are ice cold down at the moment. They have lost four out of their last six. Detroit is also ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. The teams are still battling for a playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. The Nets are eighth and are eight and 13 on the road. Pistons are ninth with an 8-13 home record. Detroit has an edge in the power ranking indicator, if you see right here, a slight edge of plus 13 to plus 10. Head-to-head -head for this season, the first game, Detroit won at home by a swim 113 to 109 margin. You Considering the over and under, uh, New Jersey here, is trending in games, or actually they're the Brooklyn Nets now. They are trending over. You see that Detroit is trending well over, so betting the over is a safe and probably most profitable play in this one. If you look at the stability of the two teams, Detroit is a more stable team at plus 11 compared to plus 7. Both are relatively stable though, so take their favorite underdog status. Consider that when making your bet in this one. So again, I think that the same thing's going to happen as happened the first time. Detroit won the first meeting between the teams at home. I expect the same in this one in another tight game. Chicago Bulls and the Cleveland Cavaliers. If you look right now, Chicago looks to make a postseason push. They are 10th in the Eastern Conference. They are 7-15 and 15 on the road. Cleveland right now is next to last in the conference, 6-15 and 15 at home. You see Cleveland is at the dead status. They have lost by out of their last six. The Bulls are averaged down. They have alternated wins and losses over their last six, so they are three and three over their last six. At the power rankings indicator, you will notice neither team is very high. Uh, Chicago at plus nine, and then there's Cleveland down at plus three. Head to head for the season, they've met twice, with both teams winning at home, and by close scores of two point win for the Bulls and six point win. For the Cavaliers. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you see that Chicago is playing in games trending over. Cleveland is playing in games trending well over. So 
again, let's bet over. It looks like the day of betting over in all these games, but that is going to change as you will see soon. So overall, as far as for who's going to win the game, I think Cleveland will come away with a home win. It won't be easy, but I think they will prevail. The Oklahoma City Thunder and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Oklahoma City enters play with the seventh best record in the Western Conference. They are 11 and 10 on the road. Minnesota has struggled to 6 and 15 at home, and they have the second worst record in the conference. Heading in opposite directions, the Thunder you see are burning hot, winners of their last two. Minnesota with the dead stats, and they have lost their last six. The power rings indicator will show you the same type of thing. Oklahoma City on upper trend. They are here at plus 18 and plus 5 for Minnesota. Head to head. You see the teams that played twice. Oklahoma City winning both times. 13 point win on the road and a 12 point win in overtime at home. If you're considering the over under now here, you see Oklahoma City is playing in games trending over the line. Minnesota playing in games trending over the line also, so go with the over in this one. As far as who's going to win the ball game, uh, I expect that to continue as far as the trend goes. As far as the home teams winning, I think that Oklahoma City will actually reverse the trend and they will win the game on the road and make it 3-0 this season against Minnesota. They have just dominated Minnesota, and I don't expect that to change anytime soon. Now, we'll take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers and the Philadelphia 76ers. Philadelphia is fifth in the Eastern Conference. They have an outstanding 20-2 record at home. They face the best in the Western Conference, the Los Angeles Lakers. They are 18-4 on the road. Los Angeles is average status right now. They have lost two out of their last three, but they've won four out of their last six. The 76ers are burning hot in the moment, winners of their last four. If you look at the power ranking indicator. The Lakers are at plus 28. Philadelphia is at plus 21. Head to head, the teams have not yet played this season. Considering the over and under, just like in all the cases, you see uh, the Los Angeles Lakers are playing in games trending well over the line. Philadelphia is playing in games trending under, under the line. So in this case here, with all the other games uh, picking over, this one here, I would avoid picking the over under entirely. You take a look at the stability of the two teams. Both teams are very stable. Philadelphia plus 25. The Los Angeles Lakers at plus 20. The 76ers are excellent at home. They could pull this one out even without Joel Embiid because they just seem to find a way to win at home. But I probably tend to go with the Lakers just with a little bit of an edge. It's very hard to beat the best team in the conference without your best player. It would not surprise me for Philadelphia to win, but expect the Lakers to come away with a close one in this game. I also want you to take a look here at the top performing automated systems. The way you can do that is here. Let's just scroll up here to the top. You can get to the top performing automated system with this link right here. It says uh, Hot Trends. You see where it says Top Automated System. You click on that and you will see what comes up. And take a look at this. There are all different kinds of uh, systems here. You can see, let's go to NBA first. Select the NBA and you will see the top ones for NBA. Here, you have the very top one right here. And you see the profit of 413. You can click on that. You will see a chart. You can also look at the uh, Different types of things here, trust percentage, trust factor percentage, average squared deviation percentage, uh, return on investment percentage, all different types of things to help you win and win big every single time. So there you have it. Once again, if you're not already a member, please join up and join in the fun. Have a great week. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.